Um, I'm Mike Clyde and I'm the Canadian distributor of the Pair to Go brand of electric bikes out of California. So how electric bikes are changing the world, it's perhaps a slightly bold statement, but um, it's got more truth than you might imagine. So I think everyone here will agree the world does need to change quickly and in a number of ways. How we move through the world is just one of these ways. And getting people on bikes is a really great way to benefit both the rider and the planner. However, the reality is that riding rates have actually been stagnating even though there's been significant improvement in uh, infrastructure in many places. At a generous estimate, only about 10% of North Americans are regularly riding bikes. But I'm guessing somewhere around 80% of households will have a bike somewhere in the house, probably gathering dust. So the intention to ride regular bikes is there. What electric bikes do is create new bicycle journeys where they wouldn't otherwise have been ridden. And they do this by removing barriers. Things like hills, distance, loads, and even mental barriers. And I think this is where electric bikes has kind of got a secret sauce. They're fun to ride. And I don't think I've seen too many first-time riders come back from their first experience on an electric bike without a silly grin on their face. So, so the concept of micro-mobility is a really important one. It's basically the missing middle in the transport equation. So somewhere where you're Back one. <laughs> so basically, a circumstance where you don't need a car, but walking isn't really going to cut it. So examples of vehicles filling this gap include bikes, electric bikes, scooters, electric foot scooters, and also micro cars. And a huge proportion of urban journeys are under 10 kilometres and they're perfectly suited to electric bikes and these other uh, vehicles. Car journeys are still part of the transport solution and electric cars are a wonderful way to reduce the impact when you do need to use a car. However, they still are cars and they use way more resources to produce and maintain than these smaller vehicles. It's worth noting that currently uh, in the world, about 50 times more electric bikes are sold each year than electric cars. And in somewhere like China, where there's a, a lot of them sold, it made a really big difference to the pollution levels in some of these cities where um, the electric bikes have replaced gas vehicles. So bikes are making a difference. So why do people buy electric bikes? In a recent survey, 65% of people said the main reason they bought an electric bike was to replace car journeys. And one of our company's core mottos is getting people out of cars. And this is where electric bikes sell even more than a regular bike. And if you've been to Europe, you'll know there's a really different cycling culture over there. And they, they view bikes as a vehicle much more than bikes as recreation that we do over here. I think things are changing, and, and Nelson's a nice little snapshot of, of what is happening in the trends. If you probably notice there's so many more electric bikes around town in the last couple of years. I think even though there are a lot of electric bikes out there, we're really early on the growth curve. Um, and I think we'll definitely follow the overseas trends. Like for example in the Netherlands, over 50% of total bikes sold are electric bikes, and I've had to guess in Canada it's something well south of 5%. So it's going to be exciting to see what Nelson looks like in the next few years. So if you can replace car journeys with bike journeys, the environmental benefits are large and obvious. It's even better if you can remove a car from a fleet. And this then has huge additional environmental benefits due to the resources saved by creating one less car. Our family is a great example of this. We'd certainly be a two-car family if it wasn't for our electric bikes. Other examples of electric bikes being adopted for car replacement include food delivery, police patrol, couriers, and staff transport. 
We know of city councils that have electric bikes in their fleets, and this enables their car fleets to be reduced, and they'll typically require staff to either walk or use a bike where possible for short distance off-site trips. In many countries, the carbon accounting for businesses mean that replacing a car with a few electric bikes makes really good dollar cents and often has really large cost, cost savings. Also, this is where the fun aspect of riding an electric bike comes into it. You're doing something good for the planet and enjoying it. So, some numbers. Um, you may be familiar with the phrase life cycle analysis, where you study a product from its production right through to disposal. And one study showed that the difference between regular bikes and electric bikes, they're pretty much the same, 21 and 22 grams of CO2 per kilometre, respectively. And these, this compares really well with, um, for example, a, a well-used public transport at around 100 grams, and a typical car at around 270. So the, the obvious conclusion is if you can convert even you know, a good number of people to bike journeys, you're going to have a really big reduction in your, your carbon emissions. So in addition to the environmental benefits, there are clear health and well-being benefits. Electric bikes have been called the gateway drug to exercise. <laughs> and as I mentioned before, in many cases there would be no bike journey at all if it wasn't for the electric bike. So then the, the health benefits are, are very obvious. And increased cycling rates in cities have um, been shown to improve the livability and the happiness measurements in the urban, urban environment. And even where an electric bike replaces a regular bike, it's been shown by studies that people actually get more exercise due to the fact that they ride them a lot more in terms of distance. There are some, also some pretty interesting numbers on the savings to society, both in terms of dollars and environmentally, if people exercise even just a little bit more, the short version being less hospital visits equals less resources used. So into the future, I think the electric bike is something that can help many households and businesses change the way they move through the world. And I think with increasing environmental awareness and hopefully some government leadership and incentives, that electric bikes and other micro-mobility solutions are really going to explode in the next decade. And I'm excited to be part of this. Thank you.